And joining us right now is Holly Gagnon, who is the CEO of the Seneca Gaming Corporation. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So not a lot of women in this industry, as we know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so how did you get involved and why? Um, well, uh, you know, I, I tell the story, it was half in chance. Uh, way back in 1992, or actually 91, I uh, had relocated to Connecticut and had a CPA and an MBA and was answering an ad, if you can believe it. There were ads in the paper for jobs uh, for a head of internal audit. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> for a head of internal audit, and it turned out to be Foxwoods Resort Casino, run by the Mash and Tucket Gaming Enterprise. And um, I guess the rest is history. Wow. And so you've seen this industry evolve and change tremendously. Absolutely. What's one of the biggest changes you've seen? Um, how gaming is everywhere. I mean, I think that if you watch the growth of gaming and where it all started and how there were a few jurisdictions back then, 27 years ago and before that, and then how it has become um, so widespread. And I think the general acceptance of casinos and um, some of the positive they do versus being kind of a scary industry to some people, I think that's been a, a, a really monumental change. Right, and you're one of the founding members of Global Gaming Women, right? I am. I am. And so what does this organization do? So, you know, at one point in time, that was a subset of the American Gaming Association. And there was a point in time when uh, the decision was made that it would be better if it would be broken apart and become its own nonprofit. And so when we started, I, th you know, I think the goal was really to um, make sure that um, women in the industry had a place where a resource for education, a resource for networking, and um, it was really there to cultivate and promote uh, women in the industry and get more people engaged in those leadership opportunities. Yeah, and so how has your organization helped to maybe add more women in this industry? You know, um, so I am actually the chair of the mentorship committee and um, I guess now it's three years ago, we actually instituted Lean In Circles, which is part of the Lean In organization um, from the book, Lean In, obviously. And those circles, we have over 150 women active in those circles as peer mentors. Mm. And they're groups of about eight to 10 women. And it, it's happening all over the country. And, um, you know, that's a, that's a big impact. Now, the other side is the education, the numerous scholarships that the organization provides to ed educational programs throughout the country. There is um, a conference in Mississippi. There'll be a conference in Florida, Atlantic City. Um, there's a W conference out here in Las Vegas. So there's a lot of opportunities at different levels for leadership training and networking among yeah. peers. So what's the goal then? What's the goal of this organization? I, you know, I think the goal is to get these women um, in a concentrated mass so that they can learn and talk and, and have that level of camaraderie. I, you know, I do believe that it has been different to be a woman in this industry. I see it changing. You know, I I think at one point it was probably unheard of to see that there were senior women running properties on the strip and now two of my very good friends one runs five properties on the strip for mgm one runs four properties on the strip for caesars you know i think 15 years ago women thought that that couldn't happen yeah so how are you received 27 years ago <laughs> you know I, I guess i didn't notice i you know it's it's really kind of funny i came up through the finance and it side and um, I think, you know, I just worked really hard and um, I was very fortunate. I had a lot of male mentors. There weren't females to mentor you at that time. Mm -hmm. um, I can name them. Um, some people have been very good to me. And I think um, part of it was just I performed well and they gave me more opportunities. So there were those people out there championing women uh, 27 years ago and giving you promotions. Right, right. Right. And so. How has that changed now? How are you received now in the industry? You know, I, you know, I, I think there's a lot of camaraderie. I think that there, um, you know, I've got a lot of peers. I used to work for um, Harris and Caesars and MGM. So I think through working through those organizations, I have a, a network of people that I've had the opportunity and fortunate opportunity to work with. And um, you know, I, I think it's generally supportive. So how how is the uh the stats right now, as far as women in gaming 
Do we know? Are there, you know I don't. I don't have a number. I I do think it it does parallel. I feel like there's more. I feel like there's more women. I there, think there's women in the there, forum. There absolutely machine. are more. And what I would say is, I think a lot of industries are in the same boat. When it, and you look at the studies, and I know Lean In's coming out with some new numbers this mm-hmm. week, actually, where as you go up the ladder a lot of industries are losing women in their participation of leadership. Now, whether it's their deselecting being part of organizations at that level, or whether it's unconscious bias or opportunities aren't being extended, but the reality is the numbers at the very senior level aren't changing at the pace that they need to change, yeah, and particularly I, on boards of directors. I, right, right. I, I, also, I guess I was also asking too, specifically when you see not just women uh, on the executive side, but on the consumer side. Are we seeing more women in gaming? Yeah, I, you know, I think more than 50% of our yeah. consumers are women. And I think the studies do show that women make the travel decisions most of the time for their families. So, you know, I think it's it's important to make sure, you know, we have diversity on our boards, diversity at the senior level, because you know, you have to look at a problem from lots of perspectives to get the right solution. And I think people are missing out if they don't have that level of diversity. And diversity, it comes in a lot of different forms. It comes in attitude, it comes in age, it comes in gender, it comes in race. Um, And so I think uh, the more open-minded we are to our consumer base and making sure that we've got a product that they appreciate, the better we are. So what do you see moving forward now? Give me specifically. So specifically in this industry, we see a lot of online gaming. We see a yeah. lot of digital. Yeah. What do you see moving forward when it comes to the casinos, when it comes to gaming in general? You know, I think that there, you know, um, I'd like to believe that there will always be um, that place where experiential gaming in casinos is always a valued um product right that people will come and stay and enjoy for the experience and and and, and the overall experience i do think that there'll be other if people want to gamble there'll be other opportunities to gamble whether that be online or whether it be um in different locations but i do i do think that it puts pressure and a good pressure on us to make sure that we've got a really compelling um and interesting uh place to be interesting you say that because because i always can see like a shift even with the casino industry when it comes to all the amenities they offer. Yes. Right? Like, especially in Las Vegas. Yes. Especially in Las Vegas. Yes. Especially especially in a place like this where um, if more than 50% of people who potentially are going to be gaming are women, yeah. they might be catering it toward a specific audience, obviously. Right. So it's not just a you know, gambling experience, but it's also an experience to come, you know, get away or go to a spa. Absolutely. I mean, people come for entertainment and we call ourselves, you know, a lot of time when I fill out a form, it doesn't have casino industry. right? Right. And I say, well, I'm entertainment industry, right? We really do entertain and, and delight guests right. and so shows, shows and, and, uh, and all sorts of reasons to come visit and stay in our hotels. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Holly. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.